Hi, I'm Corey Lopez. Um, right now I'm going to talk to you about choosing a surfboard, the right surfboard for you. Um, well, for me, this is what I ride right here. This is a, a 511 surfboard and it's about 18 and a, a half inches wide. For me now, being an advanced surfer, you know, I'm 5'10", I'm riding a board about an inch, inch taller than me, maybe only a half inch taller than me. Um, we ride such small boards, so it's, they're more maneuverable. The smaller the board, the easier they are to turn, to, to twist in the air and, and spin around and stuff like that. Um, now for you, depending on your level, you know, most likely if you're a beginner, you're going to want to start with a larger board. If you're, you know, if you're a six foot tall man um, or woman, <laughs> you're probably about 5'7", and you're going to a surf shop and you want to find a board, um, you know, you don't want to look for a larger surfboard, somewhere in a six, eight, seven foot range um, and bigger, you know, depending on, on your width and how heavy, much you weigh. Um, you could be looking for anywhere up to a nine foot wide, foot tall surfboard, um, somewhere in the 20 inch wide range, you know, that'll be real stable, um, you know, even up to 21 inches, real wide surfboard that's going to be real stable for you and um, really make it easy to paddle into waves and stand up and have that stable platform to stand up on and not you know, the narrower the board, the more it's going to do this on you, which, um, you know, it's a lot easier to wipe out. And then, of course, the better you get, the smaller board you can ride. Um, so when you walk into a surf shop, make sure if you're going in there, it's your first time to buy a board. Make sure the local guy doesn't try to sell you some teeny board that he's selling because he's trying to make a sale. Now, all surf shops want to make a sale, which is great, but uh, you got to get the boards right for you. So remember, there's always another surf shop down the road that could have the board that you really need. Um, so. You know, for me, if I was going to take someone surfing and they needed a beginner board, um, I'd probably start them off on a soft top. If they've never surfed before in their life, I'd probably start them off on a nice like 7'6", soft top, really wide, real stable. Um, you can go out there and, and they can catch waves real easily, um, stand up and wipe out. If they hit the board, they're not going to get hurt, they're not going to have stitches or something like that. You know, when I, when I recommend that you get a soft top, you know, to start off as, as a beginner, um, a soft top is a board that's more similar to maybe a boogie board. It's kind of hard on the bottom, but it has a, a soft top on it. The deck of the board you're going to be standing on is kind of like a boogie board material, um, like a foamy material that's, you know, it, if you hit it, it's not going to, it's not going to be like that, you know, it's, it's more soft and forgiving, um, really easy to learn on. Now the bottoms are still hard, they're not quite as hard as this, but they're, they're a hard type of plastic and, and uh, you know, they work pretty good. They're great for learning. Um, you see all the surf schools use them, you know. However, they're not the board you're going to want to keep for a long time. They're going to be the board you're going to want to buy for maybe about a year and then uh, six months. You know, it depends on how good you get, how quick you get good. Um, and then you want to transfer into a real surfboard that uh, you can go out there and really get your shred on. That. Um, now, if you want to buy one board and, and not have to trans, you know, keep switching boards, if you buy a soft top, you'll probably end up, you know, after a few months or after a year when you get a lot better, you don't want to ride the soft top anymore because they're not a very high performance surfboard. They're not you know, the best surfboard to ride once you know how to surf. Um, so you want to translate into a regular, you know, polyester surfboard then. Um, so if you want to just buy the regular board right away, you know, go for it. I just, that's how I learned. That's how most everyone I know learns. So um, nowadays people are just lucky enough to have a soft top. It's something that the beginners, especially if they're starting at an older age, really enjoy. Um, so like I said, go on, you know, mostly your local surf shops, they're in a good area where there's waves. These guys know how to point you in the right direction to a good surfboard and trust their advice. Um, but just be a little wary if they're if you're six foot tall and they're trying to sell you a six two or a six four, um, and you're only beginning. That's that's when you gotta know when to say no and just uh, you know find the right board. Maybe go to another store and find someone else's advice that can point you in the right direction.